Hello, my name is Sage and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library. In today's Boredom Buster, we are going to make washcloth animals. So look around the house to find some washcloths. You'll need uh, some tape, some paper to make some eyes and noses, and I have a crayon, just a black one. Um, because I have colored paper, but you might need some different colored crayons and a couple ribbons and You'll need elastic bands now if you can't find elastic bands in your house Maybe somebody has a hair elastic you can use that as well Sometimes you have to be really creative when you can't find the right things. All right So we'll start with a white wash washcloth. That's just the color that I have at my house You might use another color. Maybe you can find pink. Maybe you can find yellow Brown it doesn't really matter all right, so I'm just gonna lay this out on the table. I have turned my square-ish washcloth, it's not quite a square, but usually they are, um, so that the pointy part is at the bottom of my table. Okay, now start with that corner and just try and roll it in a one long, tight roll. Yep, and you might have to spread your fingers out a little bit as you go so that you get the longer parts of the, the cloth. And I'm gonna just pull that down a little bit so you can see. Um, straighten this out. We're coming near to the top. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Super easy. Okay, so you have a long line of washcloth. You can keep it on the table, but just turn it so that the two open ends are pointing upwards. Good. Now, grab onto the bottom of it with one hand and use your other hand to pull the two top pieces and bend them down. Good. So what you have is the two pieces or two parts that look like this that are pushed together. Good. All right, I'm going to pick it up with one hand. I'm going to grab my elastic band or hair elastic and we're going to put it mm, kind of near the top. Now, what I do is I wrap it around once and then I kind of turn it, how do I say that, twist it, there we go, and then put it around twice, and that just makes it nice and tight. Okay, so it should look like that. I'm just smoothing this out a wee bit because when I turn this around, there's the shape of an animal. I'm not gonna say what it is yet. Let's see if you guys can guess. Okay, now grab your white paper if you've got some. We're gonna make some eyeballs. The easiest way that I find to cut two eyeballs that are the same shape or size is to take it and just fold over a little bit at the top, just like that, so that we only are gonna cut once, but we're gonna end up cutting two circles that are exactly the same. Now I'm just eyeballing it. You know what, they don't have to be perfect, right? All right, so watch this become from one to two, ta-da! Good job, now I'm gonna grab my crayon and I'm gonna do a little black dot in the middle for the pupil, good. Whoa, my camera's moving. A whole lot of shaking going on. <laughs> All right, now my tape. This might be a little bit hard to see because I have really clear tape. So I'm gonna try and um, describe this as best I can. So you're gonna cut a piece of tape. Can you even see that? Hard to see. Okay, cut a piece of tape, bend it over, twist it, turn it, so that it is folded over and you've got tape on both sides. You might need an adult to help you with that one. Then I use my scissors and I cut it in half so that I have two smaller pieces of tape. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up one of those eyeballs and put the tape on the back. And I'm gonna put an eyeball on my animal. Good. And then pick up the other eyeball, whoops. Put the tape on the back, so it's nice and sticky. And tape that on the other. Okay, does anybody know what we got so far? Can you guess what it is? Now I'm gonna have a little pink piece of paper and I'm gonna cut out a pink nose. I'm gonna do a circle as best I can. And then grab one of those tapes that I've made just before I started video recording. There we go. And there's a pink nose. So what do we have here? Good. Now, I also have a ribbon. You can find a ribbon or a piece of string. This is not completely necessary. I just want something to make it look a little more special by covering up the elastic band. So I'm just gonna tie it just on top of the elastic band and put my finger there. You might need somebody else to help you with this because sometimes it's easier to tie something or make a bow 
when you've got another set of hands. Okay, and I'm just gonna move that around a little bit to try and cover that elastic band. And then you can twist and turn and bend those ears as best you can. And there is my little towel bunny. She's pretty cute, isn't she? All right, let's make another animal. I found a brown washcloth in my house. So we're gonna do exactly what we did for the bunny rabbit. We're gonna turn the washcloth so that the pointy part's facing down towards you and turn the corner up and start rolling again. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Good, like I mentioned before, you wanna move your hands out so that you can cover more ground on the washcloth. Good, okay, now pick it up, bend it in half so you make a U shape. There we go, good. Now put it down on the table because this part's a little more tricky. You're going to pull the top part down, maybe halfway and bend that corner down. And then you're gonna do it on the other side. So, it looks like this. Okay, now I'm gonna hold it all in one hand. I've got my thumb holding that side down and my first finger or my third finger holding that side down. I'm gonna grab my elastic band and I'm gonna stretch it out and twist it so I can get two it around twice. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping to make. Can anyone tell what it is at this point? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? All right, grab your paper again. We're gonna make some eyeballs, and I'm gonna make these ones a little bit bigger if I can. I'm not sure those worked out, <laughs> that's okay. One becomes two, and we're gonna take our crayon, our black crayon, and I'm gonna make great big pupils there. Oops, sorry, my drawing is making the camera shake. There we go, good, okay. You wanna get some tape and put it on the back. Anyone know what it is yet? As it's coming together? Can you tell? <laughs> there we go. Okay, it needs one more thing. I grab a yellow piece of paper and I'm gonna cut a great big triangle. Now flip it over, grab a little piece of tape, stick it on the back and there's my triangle upside down to make a nose on this cute little owl. So there's a bunny rabbit and there's an owl and there you see our two wonderful washcloth animals. See what you can find around the house. Have fun.